Hey folks, welcome to opening day for all you baseball fans out there. I'm kind of a converted baseball fan. I was an old time fan of baseball, as you know, and uh, mostly a hockey guy, but I've been enjoying my, my baseball games here on the channel and offline as well, as you probably know. Um, so, you know, I'm kind of enjoying opening day. I was watching some of the uh, the games on TV earlier. I am liking the, the pace of play. I am liking that. Uh, so that's going really well. And then... Uh, um, some of the, the bigger bases, it looked like there might have been a stolen base that was um, a result of the bigger bases. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, I've, been, I've been enjoying watching some baseball today. But I'm taking a break from the TV uh, to take a first look at version 11 of uh, Digital Diamond. And we are scheduled. I need to get uh, check my, my feed here. We are scheduled Saturday night to talk to Mark live here on the channel. He wants to take Friday off to recoup. He's been working like a fiend. He really has uh, on this on this, uh, this game here. Uh, Ron and myself did some beta testing for him, and uh, even late last night about midnight, I found a bug in the game that he, he fixed. So he's been a busy little guy here getting this game going, and uh, you're going to want it. You're going to want to watch. I mean, you're going to want to get version 11 of Digital Diamond Baseball. All right, so before we get going into the game, uh, one of the first things you got to know is you'll get a PDF, the Digital Diamond Board Game Companion Guide. I mostly use this for the board game companion. That's just me. That's just kind of how I, I like to play it. So I can play all my games. Uh, in fact, I just pulled out Appa Baseball. I was playing. I was testing it with the 1980 World Series last night, trying to see if I could set up the World Series, and I did. I also was able to uh, get the 1899 Spiders in the game. Yes, more on that later. But anyway, when you're in the game, if you click on the user guide, I believe it is, it'll bring up a uh, place to get the PDF here or the PDFs included in there. No, Board Game Companion in the menu will bring up this. And this is a little bit bigger. This is uh, pretty thick right here. You know, this was like 16 to 17 pages. Don't let that scare you. Don't let it scare you. It just goes into detail. Uh, you get a nice table of contents here. So that's where you can find stuff. The opening page is the Quick Start Guide. That is really cool. That way there, some of your most you know common commands, 90% of it will be right here, so you don't got to go digging through the other pages. It's right here. It's a quick start guide to get you up and running. They give you all the commands. It even gives you an example inning of play, how to input codes with the board game command. And then it just talks about, you know, the uh, the literals, the variables, and the groupings. All that means is that if you want to fly ball the right field and the runner on first goes to second and is thrown out, then it gives you the code to do that. So it's just basically, you know, the w where the ball is hit and then what happens to the runners. It's it's really simple. Even a guy like me was able to figure it out. Uh, so that's the first thing you're going to get is this really nice big thing here. I'm going to put that in its own little book I bought from Staples today so I can flip through it. So that's the first thing you're going to get. Second thing is you are going to get... Uh, the charts for Status Pro. The instructions and the charts to display Status Pro Baseball. Okay, I printed them all out and I have them here. If you choose, you may go and uh, find your own version of Status Pro and print out maybe a newer version, if you will, or an older version, whatever you like. But you will get that in the game uh, because you can play Status Pro now right in Digital Diamond version 11. Along with, uh, you know, can play basically any any game you want using the board game companion, and you can play the digital uh, diamond game itself. Okay, so now let's go take a look at what you get here. Uh, I think I've showed off pretty much everything. So you get the board game companion, you get the status pro baseball. So let me see if I can get into the game here. So I've been playing around with a few libraries as I as I mentioned, including uh, setting up the World Series there. And so let's just bring in a whole new library. So we're going to go in all fresh, all new, with nothing dolled up, even though I have dolled up some of the other seasons here. So we're going to install a library. So let's go to something I'm somewhat familiar with, and let's go to 1982. All righty. So we're going to go 1982. We're going to install that library. And boom, now we're in 1982. So then you click on it, and you open it, and here we are. Now here, again, if you click on the user guide, that's going to bring up a link to some of the videos that you can watch. And the videos are super helpful, super, super helpful. If you want to watch the videos, I suggest doing so. They really, really help me, and they will help you if you, if you are new to this. From here, this is where you can go to your team editor. 
And this is where you would change the logos. You can see they get different logos in version 11. This is where you would edit and change the logos. So let's, and uh, you have to have the logos on your computer. There is a way to import all this stuff here um, if you want to. So, um, but if you know, if you click on edit, then you could. This is where you would go with the logos, and you would find on your computer where the Baltimore Orioles logo is. is. Uh, you can change all this stuff here. I like to make the home team white uniforms, and then have their colors. Do this right here, and you can set your trim and everything for every team. So that would be Baltimore. Now that's my version of Baltimore. It might not be yours, but it's mine. So that's just kind of how I like to I like to get in and play around with all the things as well. If you have set up another league, sometimes this will work. Sometimes it doesn't. It depends on how many teams. But you could import the team attributes. We'll select a file, and I believe if I go to my imports. Oh, my export, and I go to team attributes. Oh, no, I am in version 10, actually. Team attributes in my export. I'm going to bring in 1980. Let's see if this works. And, yep, so it brings in all the stuff. So, basically, this is the 1980 from version 10. So I brought that into 11, and you can see that it just does all the teams, logos, and the whole bit. Um, it changes all the names for you because they were very generic names to start with because, you, you know, that's how you have to do it. And I think it even put in some of the, the, the things here. But if you wanted to go and change your ballparks, you could. But anyway, so I got all the logos in there now, nice and easy, because I already did one season that was similar. So it brings it right in. Uh, let's see here. Let's go to, let's just get right into playing a game. Now, you can go to the postseason, set up a postseason if you like. And uh, I, I was watching a video on that, and um, that seemed to work pretty well. You can import things. I imported 1899. Yes, I did. So this spider's in here, if I didn't already mention that. Let's go to play a scheduled game. All right, so we'll do the ro uh, the Royals and the Orioles. I have not brought in the, the, uh, the, the player pictures, as you can see. So let's just go play a game. And we'll go here transactions and I will play and I'll use the board game companion just to show you how that works so I like to use that and we'll go I will manage the home team Orioles let's go to set it up and I'll just let the lineups go as they are I can change them if I want and now we're into the game so as you can see, a little different display here in version 11 and version 10. The field has been shrunken down. And now on the left-hand side, you see the pitcher and all his stats. And on the right-hand side, you see the batter and his stats. Before, you used to have to click on that. Now it's right here at the bottom of the screen. You'll notice there's a pinch hit button. So now you don't have to search on how you pinch hit. You just pinch hit right for this guy here. And he's all highlighted in yellow as well. And again, these are the generic photos in the game. On the field, you'll see all the uh, the players have their their ratings that were in the game here. Now, let's just say I'm playing Appa. Okay, I have Appa on the table. I'm playing Appa. So I'm using the board game companion right now. So I would just input the, uh, the results. Let me show you some of the things in a menu that's kind of neat. So we go to the basic menu here. So we, as you can see, I'm using the board game companion here at the top. And uh, fast gameplay speed. And let me see. Um, a few other things here I'll get to in one second. So, okay, that looks pretty good to me. So I'm just going to leave that. So let's go to the optional font. This is what's kind of neat is you can set this to be the home team colors, the away team colors, or the batting team colors, or fixed. Fixed right now, as you can see, is black on yellow. I like to go to the batting team. And we'll have the font size be larger. And the fielder size is be largest, and you can even change the font over here if you like. So now it's going to go to the, the batting team colors. You can see Willie Wilson's up, and because it's the or, uh, the Royals up, it's going to be blue. So you can change a few things like that. You can see the fielders now are much bigger. And you can also change here. You can change it on the left and on the right what you're going to look at. So we're going to go option for the batter stats. And right now, it's showing all types. Now, batter stat line one, I like to put um, the average and then what he's done for the day. The pitcher, 
we'll go, um, I like to go simulated, stat one. And then his so far today and his ERA. So what that did now is down below here, you can see that it shows all the player averages and they're all zero for zero because that's what they've done today. The pitcher over here is uh, zero innings pitch, zero ERA because we're just starting off here. And again, today it shows he's pitched zero batter, zero this, and over here zero for zero. So there's no plate appearances yet for anybody, but it's all right here in the open now. And you can kind of customize what it says. So right now I have real life sim and playoffs. If I don't like that, I'm going to go to my here. Real life simulated. I don't want playoffs. And now it gets rid of that. So you can pretty much customize what you want on here for your guy. So I like to see what he did in real life and what he's doing in the sim. Okay. So let's go and pitch now. I think everything's all set. So we're going to pitch. And let's just say he strikes out. We'll put a K and he strikes out. All right, so Willie Wilson goes down swinging and there's one away. So now Wathen comes up and let's just say Wathen gets a single. Wathen gets a single. So he gets a single. He's on base. And that's kind of how the board game companion works. So now he's going to get, he's, let's just say Brett's going to hit into a double play. So he's going to, G, he's going to hit a 6-4-3 double play. And that's how it works. It's nice and simple. It really is. Um, as David C. stops by here. Now you can see Baltimore's coming up. And you can see that it's changed from blue to orange in the play-by-play -play because I have it set up to go to the batting team. And that just helps me remind me who's at the plate sometimes because if it's just the same color, sometimes I do get confused. In the middle here, you have this little chart. It's real life for a simulated. I, I don't really use that chart too much. It's not a big deal for me, but you know, for some people it is. So let me do this. Let me fast play to the top of the seventh. Okay. So now we're in the top of the seventh. It is 2 nothing Baltimore. So let's just say we played all this out. Now you can see how things are taking shape. So over here we have Martinez. He's now today. He's got six innings pitched. He's got one walk, uh, four hits, five strikeouts, and he's faced 22 batters. Um, everything is here now out in the open. So they've shrunk the field down, which I did like the big field, but now I do like having the, the stats here. And over on the right, Amos Otis, he's one for two. And in the second inning, he struck out. And in the fourth, he got a single. So it, it puts all the codes in that, you know, for the uh, what happened during the day. Yes, I, I like orange myself there, uh, Ray. I do like orange. So this is what we got here. Now, If you again, if you want to go the the pen, defense and the pen, we come over here, consult with the, ba the base uh, the, the coach there, and this is where you can change some things up. You know, if you want to put in a pitcher right here, you just drop him in, hit P, and he'll go into the, to the pitch. So the substitutions are so easy. The pinch hitting is now, this, it says, click on pinch hit. So this you'll bring in a guy to pinch hit. It is, everything is laid out. So any of the, the things that were stumbling blocks in version 10 really have been smoothed out in this version 11. Now here's where it really gets crazy, where it really does. This is unbelievable. So I'm going to hit my menu. I'm going to go to my options basic menu. I'm going to show the status pro cards. And I'll even go to lefty righty splits. And hit OK. Now... I'm playing Status Pro. It's all baked into the game. The only thing you're going to need are these charts here. And for the most part, you know, Ron Ron was playing this early, and he, he had everything memorized. I don't have it memorized yet, so I still have the charts out. And what's kind of neat about it is um, it it's, it's, it's Status Pro. This is my first time ever playing it. It's a little bit Strat, and it's a little bit APA because you have all these um, – these charts here for men on base, which uh, is what um, APA has, but it also has the splits like Strat has, and it's really kind of fun. And this game flies, okay? And if you noticed, what it did now is the fielders, they've changed to show their status pro ratings. It's all on the screen. Genius. Genius. It, that's all I'm going to say. This is genius. So how you play Status Pro, now I'm still new, but here's what I managed to figure out, is all these, they're all random here. The, all the cards are random, so you don't even need to change the card. I like to flip to the next card. It's just how I like to do it, but you don't have to, so let's follow along. So on the left-hand side is the pitcher card. He's got a PB of 2 to 6. So you look at the 
card in the middle, which is the fast action card, and on the right, it's the batter card. A PB4 means the pitcher has control, okay? So then you would get a random number. I like to flip a card. You don't have to, but I like to just because I'm used to it. So I'll flip a card by clicking on it. My random number is 42. Off the pitcher card, a 42 is a base on balls. So we go to the pitch, and we swing, and it's a base on balls, and Otis goes down the first base. Now when Otis gets the first base, you'll notice that his ratings change. Now it shows his on-base rating, which is a B, and his speed is D. So if you want to steal, those are the numbers you're going to look at. And if he's going to advance bases, those are the numbers you look at. Again, genius. You put everything right here is, you need for Status Pro is right here to play the game. It's beautiful. So now if you want to play it, again, I watch one of Mark's videos. And uh, because all these things are random, it's not the actual fast action card. All these things are random. You could take everything off this one card here. So the PB, that's a CD so that's going to be a defensive check. So I'm going to take out my defensive check. Uh, the random number is um, 16, and the CD check is going to be third base. So I get on the third base, and I look at 16. Third base is Ripken, and he's a CD3 right right on the table there, right on the chart there. I mean, right on the screen. If you look at Ripken, CD3. So I look at th CD3 for my shortstop. CD3 with a uh, random number 16. And that's a great catch on a shallow fly, and the runners hold. So I will swing, and I will just put um, basically I'll put that as I'll put that as a line drive. So I'll go line drive down to Ripken at third, L five. That's how I'm going to score that. And now I'm playing, I'm playing Status Pro. So the next one is a PB six. It's going to be controlled by the pitcher. If I don't want to flip a card, the random number is eighty eight, and eighty eight is an out. What is the out? You look at the player card. You see it's highlighted. It's even highlighted in red. So he's a um, a right-handed power hitter, I think that is. And you go back to the middle card, and it's a fly ball for F4. Follow up, uh, pop out, if you will. So we swing here, and it's going to be, um, I think that would just be a P4 for a pop out to 4. That's how easy it is. I prefer flipping the cards because, because I just, enjoy it and it's fast so pb9 is going to be off the batter card this is how i play we'll click we got a random number of 11 11 is a single into left field okay 1b7 so we're going to swing it's going to be a single 1b f7 is a single into left field and so now we have two on and it's going to be coming up is uh ul washington so now i take my chart and i got first and second here so i can see what's going to happen on on basically anything that pops up here. And so now we got a, a PB7, so it's going to be off the batter cut. A random number of 35 is going to be a strikeout. He struck him out. So he goes down swinging and that ends the inning. So Status Pro is all built in here. It's You get the charts that you can print out if you don't already have them. It, it produces all the cards in here. I didn't even know that. Ron was the one that pointed that out. It produces the cards in here uh, all on the fly. So we're going to save and exit this game. And so, again, you can go back and resume or even restart the game. I like that. Sometimes, you you know, you play a game, you walk away for, for a long time, like, yeah, let me just restart this game. You know what I mean? So we'll come back here. Um, and that's kind of a first look at what's going on in here. I was playing the, uh, so I'm going to open library, open a different library. I was playing the 1980 World Series here, and I got it all dolled up. Let me go to play a scheduled game. I'll resume the game. I didn't get that far. I was playing Apple with it last night. So this is where I was playing uh, Apple. I'm in the top of the second with no score. And um, so again, I can just start rolling dice and play Apper in here and play out my World Series. So it's, it's that simple. Really, really liking the, the new version here. They've added a lot. In fact, Saturday night when we have Mark on, we'll, we'll ask him about all the other stuff. There's, there's a lot of stuff in here that I'm not even finding because there's so much to it. But it's, uh, it, it's, it's such an improvement over version 10. I believe version 10 was awesome, and this is even awesomer, if that's a word. So, again, let me go back here. I'm going to open up my 1899 season. And because of the videos, he showed me how to import the season. So I'm going to go play to play a scheduled game, and I'm going to resume this game here between 
uh, Chicago, and Louisville. And if I wanted to, I could go in and put the Status Pro cards in place. Status Pro. Perfect. Perfect. So even in 1899, you can play. Now, it's a generic field, so you'd have to go back. So I want to save and exit. You would have to go back. And again, your team editor, You would. this is where you would change all your teams. You would change the team names and the whole bit. And um, change the colors if you like. Put in the logos. And I will do that at some point. I will do that for 1899. And then you get your ballpark editor. And so right now, everything's a neutral park, so you'd probably want to import some parks, um, create a new park, bring in the image, rename it, and assign it to the team. And there's so much customization in this, it's not even funny. Um, let me see here. Let me go open a different library. So we will install what we want to install here. How about... We'll install 1970, 1970, all right? So we got 1970. We'll bring in 1970. It's not a, a season I'm familiar with. So we'll just go to 1970. We'll play a scheduled game. So we have um, Detroit, Washington, and Montreal, Cincinnati. So we'll go Montreal, Cincinnati, because I have the Montreal hat on. And we will not use the board game companion. I will play the home team. And this is just all basic. Again, this is no dolling up right now. This is just how what you're going to see when you get the game. And so now you can see the charts now. They've expanded the charts. Remember in version 11, if you played Digital Diamond, what it would do is it would just give you outs. And now it really kind of it, it breaks it down a little bit more. I mean, I, I just like how the charts are here. So we're going to... Um, Go to my basics. I want to make sure that auto dice. Okay. And let's so let's pitch. And swing. So it's gonna be a uh 274. And he is out. Let's a fly ball to right field, and Pete Rose, who's in right field, makes the catch and is one away. So it shows you. The strikeouts, the out, the hit by the pitch, all the way down. So it's basically zero to a 999 roll is what it is. So here's the pitch. And the swing is going to be 230. And that's going to be another out. So you can actually play the digital diamond baseball game in here as well. And the chart's a little bit more... Uh, expanded here, if you will. Again, for myself, though, I, I like using this as a board game companion. And it's nothing against this game at all. I'm not going to save the game. It's nothing against the game at all, but I, I do like... Oh, let me see. Save and exit. I guess I do have to save and exit. There we go. And I can always restart that if I want to go back. But let me come back to Studio B. And, um, yeah, so th this is a quick first look there. Uh, at version 11 of Digital Diamond. Uh, it does so much. I've been addicted to playing this game uh, ever since we started doing the, the beta. And uh, we found a few things that we fixed. And, uh, and just in my few minutes here of playing it, there's a lot of my suggestions that are in the game. And I'm, I'm pretty happy to see that. Mark was more than um, accommodating when we shot back for some things. Not only did we find bugs, uh, but we found some things that we just didn't like. And we found some things that could be better and uh, and he took a lot of our suggestions. He really did, and I'm really happy about that. So, anyway, there it is. A, a quick look at Digital Diamond version 11. You can now play Status Pro for pretty much any season. I did uh, using his videos import 1899. I'm probably going to go in and play around with the fields and some of the logos and just have some fun with it. But that's half the fun is dolling up this game with logos and colors and the whole bit. So I'm, I'm going to really enjoy that. The Status Pro just takes us to another level. It really does. The idea that you know, he can play any, basically any season that he has in here and the cards just auto-generate. I didn't know that. Ron, Ron said, hey, I think they auto-generate. And they do. I can play the Spiders for crying out loud, you know. And so uh, so playing Status Pro is really fun. Playing Appa is fun. And as you know, I've played so many games using this as a companion. And, um, yeah, 
I, I like I like how now the the pitcher and the batter are on the screen, and you can see what they did for the day. In fact, you know, a couple of those were my suggestions as far as you know what you know what it showed. It's it's just so customizable. It is so fun. It is so easy. It it looks nice. You know, it's kind of got a modern look to it. So all in all, I'm I'm pretty happy with what I've seen here, and I think you will be too. And again, Saturday night, if all goes well, we're going to have him on live Saturday night, and he'll get get into more detail about what he's added into the game, and um, you know how you do some of the things in the whole bit. So have your questions for him. If you have any questions for for Mark at Digital Diamond, and he is super fast at getting back to people with support. In fact, it was midnight last night. And, you know, not that he will with you, but <laughs> last night I said I'm having an issue. He's like, I'll look at it in the morning. But what's the issue? And in the morning, I got my answer, and uh, we had it fixed, and so that was really good. So. Anyway, I'm Dave from Studio B, and um, I'm sure that we'll have more people taking a look at Digital Diamond version 11 that just dropped today on opening day. Go check it out. It is really, really good, and it's on sale now on Steam. So we'll talk to everybody later. I'm going to go play some more. That's how much I like this. I'm going to go play some.